Okay, so here's our second uh, synoptic short video on the electric vehicle market. We've just tweaked the question a little bit because the Edexcel board in the past have used the question micro and macro influences. In other words, kind of causal factors affecting an outcome. So this, uh, this video, let's take a look at some of the micro and macro influences on the prices of electric vehicles for consumers. Nice picture there of a Tesla vehicle. At the moment, electric vehicles typically are more expensive than a petrol or a diesel powered counterpart. So in the UK, the figures I've got, a sort of entry level Nissan Leaf electric vehicle costs about £25,000 uh, after the vehicle grant has been applied, so basically £30,000. Whereas the company's standardised similar size petrol engine Pulsar hatchback is about Thirteen thousand. So at the moment, electric vehicles probably about twice as expensive for a representative make of car. So quite interesting to think about some of the micro and macro factors that will influence the price of electric vehicles going forward. So let's take a look. Well, here are three micro influences. One of which would be great for analysis, and that is to think about the the consequences of economies of scale in electric vehicle production as the scale of production um, increases. You can think of some specific examples you could apply to the car industry and scale economies, as you know, in the long term, help to bring prices down for consumers. So you could certainly certainly put an economy of scale diagram in there or a supply curve diagram showing the effect of economies of scale. Another influence on the price is the extent to which the market is contestable. As we know, competition tends to bring prices down on average. So you could think about some of the micro factors affecting the intensity of competition, the contestability of the market. We know Nissan's in there with the Leaf. We know that Tesla's in there, Vauxhall, Jaguar, Volkswagen. Most of the major car makers are now gearing up to produce more electric vehicles. What will, it, what will be the impact of that on on competition in the prices. And then also another good micro point would be the cost of the component parts used in making electric vehicles. So you could take a, a nice kind of variable fixed cost approach here. Uh, the batteries, for example, uh, are a major cost, of course, in terms of the, the unit price of an electric car. Great example there, you could use a supply side approach, supply diagram to show that. And then on the macro side, again, loads of macro variables will affect demand and supply in the market. So the interest rate on car loans, which in a sense will be shaped by the Bank of England's Monetary Policy Committee's decisions, the cost of a loan on cars, changes at an economy level in disposable incomes. So to what extent are electric vehicles, um, goods with a relatively high income elasticity of demand, consumer confidence, all of these things would be macro variables which would affect demand for electric vehicles and hence the price. A really good macro point to talk about would be the exchange rate. So at the moment, a lot of electric vehicles are imported from overseas. So to, of course, many of the component parts. So the value of the pound against the euro or against the US dollar would have a big effect. Take an example of the appreciation of the pound that would bring down the cost of imported cars and components. And then you could bring, maybe bring in a fiscal policy point that the government can increase its own spending, um, for example, in funding research. But crucially, the government is offering now a, a cash incentive for consumers. It's called the plug-in car grant scheme. So at the moment, uh, my latest figures is if you buy a pure electric vehicle, you can get a cash grant of £4,500. If you buy a hybrid car, that comes down to £2,500. So there's fiscal policy, a macro influence on the demand for the market and on the prices of cars in the industry. Again, do you see what the synoptic aspect of this is? We're taking an industry, electric vehicles, and we're thinking about some of the micro and macro influences on prices. Lots of scope for good analysis diagrams, and then it's over to you for the exceptional evaluation.